hello again and thank you for joining me. So this piece wasn't at all what I had planned to make. It's actually not even close. Um, I had these ideas of creating a much more complicated colour pencil piece. I wanted to draw some fur with some really fine texture. But when I pulled out my paper, I suddenly decided that I wanted to draw an owl with a night sky. Um, it was such a sudden burst of inspiration that I knew I just had to drop everything and follow through. I decided to look for some reference photos and decided on a photo that I thought I could work with. And I started thinking about composition and the colours that I would like to use. As I was pondering this, I suddenly decided to pull out my Inktense pencils and blocks for another spin. I had only used them once before, but I suddenly found myself really excited to try them out again. And so I did. I started off with the background, using the only night sky colours that I had. Namely Deep Indigo, Payne's Grey, Sea Blue and Iris Blue. I used a mix of my pencils and blocks to get the colour down, as I only have a limited selection of both to choose from. I built up the layers, giving each pass an opportunity to dry between coats, until I had built up a really lovely velvety inky sky. The ink tents have a really unique texture, somewhere between a watercolour and a thin acrylic, but completely different to both. When I was happy with my background, I allowed it to dry completely. Then I made a very strong mix with my white block and used a stiff bristle brush to flick that white mixture onto my sky to give me some really gorgeous and randomly placed stars. My reference picture was taken during the daytime, but I wanted my owl to be a part of a night scene. So I knew I had to use completely different colours from my photo, otherwise he would look completely separate from the background. I started off this process by using some of those darker sky colours to quickly mark in where the deepest shadows fell on the bird. I knew that using the same colours as the background would help me keep my colour choices in line with what I wanted to achieve and bring the owl and the background together. I started working on the bird himself. I began with the eyes as usual and worked outwards from there. As I am still very inexperienced with this medium, I really felt like I was flying blind, so I only added small amounts of pigment and blended it out very often. I had a hairdryer set to a cool setting nearby to speed up this process a little bit. Looking back, I probably could have been much bolder in my initial layers, but the slow building process worked just as well in the end. With the face beginning to take shape, I started working on the wings. I was beginning to feel a lot more confident, so I found myself very quickly laying down patches of colour, confident that I'd be able to layer over and adjust anything that I felt needed changing in the end. This owl had a very mottled bark-like texture to his colouring, so this layering process was really helpful to get that texture right. As I was working on these textured wings, I started to wonder if I'd be able to add my colour pencils on top to bring some of those sharper details together. I did a really quick experiment that I uploaded to my Patreon page, testing which one of my colour pencils I could use if I wanted to use them as a finishing touch. I found that my Polychromos and my Pro colours were way too transparent for the task, but my Prisma colours and my Luminance worked really nicely. I didn't end up using them for this project, but it was nice to see that they were an option for future works. As I only have a very limited range of colours, I did find it a little bit tricky to get some of the lighter glazes of colour that I wanted from my pencils. So I ended up using my backing board to scribble onto and then I wet really thoroughly so I could lift some of those lighter thinner glaze colours off. I think in future I will keep a piece of sandpaper handy to make this a little bit easier and a little bit less wasteful. Or I could just order some more of the colours of the blocks, as if my bank balance doesn't already quiver every time I get excited about art supplies. By this point I had settled in really nicely to using the medium and I enjoyed just really roughly adding the colours and blending drying. The process was really quick and just plain fun. So here's the end result. This owl was so fun to make and the velvety matte finish of the ink tents photographed so nicely that I was able to make some really lovely prints that I was able to sell at my first market stall this past weekend, which was really exciting. And I'll be telling you all about how that went in my next video. I would like to take a moment to thank my lovely patrons. You guys really do help me make this possible. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave a like or a comment to tell me what you think. And if you'd like to see some more of my work, why not hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.